Hello friends, welcome to my channel Code Complete the Spirit of Coding. Today in this video, we will learn and understand about the clipping mask technique in Adobe Illustrator. In this video, we will learn the following topics. A brief introduction of clipping mask, how to create a clipping mask with single clipping path and single artwork, how to create a clipping mask with multiple clipping paths, how to create a clipping mask with multiple artworks, how to release objects from a clipping mask. Clipping mask in an illustrator is a vector shape known as clipping path that masks the object which is below it and just shows the area which is lie inside its boundary or path. A clipping path is like an empty frame that hides the part of an artwork. It can only be a vector object, not a photo. However, the object or the artwork below it can be anything like raster photo, vector drawing, etc. Clipping paths are grouped with the objects they mask and the group is referred as a clipping set. First, we will create a clipping mask with single clipping path and the single artwork. To create a clipping mask in Adobe Illustrator, first we need to import an image on the workspace. You can import an image by dragging and dropping an image file on the workspace. Or, go to the menu bar and select file option. And click on place. In place dialog box navigate to the folder and highlight the image we want to import. Now click on place button. We can see a loaded cursor with a preview of the image on the end of it. Now there are two ways we can place the image inside the art grid. First we can either just click once and the image is placed in at its full size. Or, we can click and drag to control the size of the image as it is being placed in. Next, we will open Layers panel. The Layers panel is usually located on the right hand side of the work area. If it is not visible, go to the menu bar, select Windows option and click Layers to open it. As we can see that in layers panel, by default, a new layer called layer 1 is automatically created. As we have imported the image to an artwork, a layer named image with the artwork is added under the layer 1. Now we draw the clipping path. Clipping path is a vector object and it can be in any shape like Rectangle, rounded rectangle, eclipse, star, polygon, or we can even draw the clipping path by using pen tool. In this video, we will use eclipse tool to draw clipping path having white fill and black stroke. As we drew the clipping path, we can see in layers panel, a sub layer called eclipse was automatically, cre automatically created under layer 1. Clipping path and the image is under the same layer. It is very important to note that clipping path and clipping image should be in a same layer group. 
otherwise it is not possible to make clipping mask now move the clipping path directly over the artwork and adjust the clipping path to cover the area of the artwork which is going to be masked the second important point is that the clipping path should always be on the top of the artwork if the clipping path is not over the artwork then the illustrator will show the error and the error says the top shape either will be compound shape or text object so we bring the clipping path over our artwork finally we will select both the objects there are multiple ways to select multiple objects first click on selection tool in toolbox then click on the first object you want to select hold down the shift key and click on additional objects to add them to your selection alternatively you can click and drag with selection tool around multiple objects and select them alternatively you can click and drag with selection tool around multiple objects and select them after selecting both the objects right click on the mouse and select make clipping mask as we notice that everything disappears except what is inside and behind the clipping path or we can say the artwork will be clipped to the shape of the clipping path it is important to note that the attribute of clipping path that is fill and stroke is replaced by the artwork's attributes clipping mask can be made in few other different ways second method is in layers panel select parent layer that is layer 1 you can see in sub layers both the objects named eclipse which is the clipping path and image which is the artwork got automatically selected then at the bottom of the layers panel click on make clipping mask icon third method is in menu bar go to the object option select clipping mask then click on make now we will make a clipping mask with multiple artwork and single clipping path first we will import two artwork in menu bar go to file option click on place browse both the images and click on place button move the loaded cursor on the artboard and import the images by clicking the loaded cursor and align both the images over the artboard next we will open layers panel go to the menu bar select window option and click layers as we can see two sub layers created under layer 1 Now with the help of eclipse tool we will draw the clipping path over both the images
in layers panel you can see a new sublayer named eclipse that get created automatically in layers panel on selecting the layer 1 all three ob objects sublayer get selected finally click on make clipping mask icon at the bottom of layers panel to create a clipping mask now we will create the clipping mask with single artwork in multiple clipping paths first we will browse the single image on the art board in layers panel a sublayer called image automatically created under the default parent layer that is layer 1 now we will draw two clipping paths first with the help of rectangle tool and second with the help of eclipse tool as you can see in layers panel both the clipping paths were added as a sublayer and all the three objects are under same layer group that is layer 1 in order to create a clipping mask with multiple clipping paths or shapes both the clipping paths first need to be converted to compound path and if it is not true and you try to use more than one object as a clipping path then in that case only the last object or the object which is at the top of a stacking order will act as a mask and other shapes will be ignored in this particular case since the eclipse sublayer is at the top of layer group that's why clipping mask is performed between eclipse and artwork Now we will undo this clipping mask. So to turn off the clipping mask, select the clipping mask on on mouse right click, select release clipping mask. Now we will convert both the clipping paths into compound path. and this can be done by selecting both the clipping paths and on mouse right click select make compound path alternatively we can do it from object menu choose compound path make now make sure the compound path is on the top of the artwork to be masked select all objects and on mouse right click select make clipping mask after clipping mask it is noted that clipping path and the image sub layers are contained within the clipping group sub layer that is clip group that is clip group is the set that contains the mask and the object that is masked that's all for this video If you have any query ask in comment section below if you like this video please give thumbs up and for latest update subscribe to my channel thank you